welcome back to another Mo Creatures Minutes. Today we are going to talk about stingrays, so this should be a fairly quick episode. Once I grab a crafting table. So stingrays are these little things that can spawn in pretty much any biome with water, although they're most common in swamps and areas kind of surrounding forests and rivers. So if I put my crafting table down here, the stingrays now can interact with the fish net. So you want three pieces of shark teeth and four pieces of string like so to make yourself a fish net. Before they couldn't be tamed, but now you can tame them. So if you're in survival mode and you happen to aggravate a stingray by either hitting him or you happen to swim by him, his pointy end anyway, you see it goes, kind of sticks up like that, and you actually get poisoned. Now the poison actually only lasts a couple seconds, although I happen to run by that other stingray at the same time. So it only lasts about, I don't know, three or four seconds. But obviously if you're hit by more than one, then you're going to get yourself into a bit of trouble. And then you just right click on them with your, with your uh, fishing net there and you can right click to release them and then you can name them so I just named him Ray and you're okay now I obviously got attacked by that one but your tame ones will not poison you so I can just grab them again and I'll go over here to show you guys that the tame ones don't poison you so there's Ray, they keep their name. And I can just swim by him here and he's not mm. gonna hurt me at all. Which is a beautiful thing. So that is everything there is to know about stingrays with the new with the new interaction with the fishnet. And I will see you guys with the next Mo Creature update. Hello everyone, welcome to another Mo Creature Minutes. Today we are going to discuss the beautiful manta rays in all their updated gloriness. So they actually look exactly the same as they did before, with a few added features. So if you happen to be swimming along and you come across a manta ray, if you right click on one, you can start taming it to ride the same way you would if it was a dolphin. And eventually it'll kick you off, but you just, uh, you just right click again and you just keep riding it until the name tag pops up. Keeping in mind that if you're in a whole group of manta rays like this, you're bound to lose your particular manta ray. So I may have actually jumped on the same or a different one a few times. And eventually he'll kick me off. Yeah, like that. And then I can just right click on him again and continue on. Taming manta rays does take a fairly long time. But once they accept you riding them, you can ride a manta ray. There we go, we got spat off there, where'd he go? There we are. So we've traveled actually a great distance with our manta ray friend here. And he just keeps kicking us off and won't accept us riding him. by that shark. No, I don't want to ride the shark. Where'd you go? Manta Ray? Oh, there he is. It'd be very lovely if you accepted us. Time now. There we go. So finally, after a long manta ray taming process, he is tame. So I can just hit my, my F key to dismount. And for some odd reason, he took some damage, and I have no clue what they eat to replenish that. Um, they eat fish. No, 
they do not eat fish. But anyway, you can control him the same way you can control a... Or maybe not. You're supposed to be able to ride them the same... Whoa. The same way you ride the dolphins, but it doesn't seem to be working. No, not working. But anyway, so you can at least sit on them. And manta rays can also interact with the fish net that we've talked about in the past couple episodes with the fish and the stingrays. So you can pick up your newly tamed manta ray. And let me find a nice spot to move to. We'll go over here. We'll move them to the land of snow. So I'll just come over here as an example and splat there's manta so you can uh can transport them with the fishnet as well and that is pretty much all you need to know about our darling little manta rays so you can kind of ride them you can tame them now and you can transport them to an area of your choosing with your gorgeous fishnet this fishnet is deeply becoming one of my favorite mo creature items because you can do a lot of stuff with this fishnet that you couldn't do in the mod previously. So that is just wonderful. So we shall release Manta to go about his day, and I will see you guys next time.